Welcome back everybody to another deck profile video. This is Chris from CTJ bringing you guys another interesting deck profile video. Today we're doing a green world tournament leader, the stopping power Sengoku. Um, very interesting deck that I've been working on for a few months now, just kind of messing around with some of the stuff. Um, took some of the Clash Coup engine and then took some of the Kaioken engine and some of the world tournament engine and kind of combined them together just to make a really fun deck. Obviously, I don't think this deck would ever top at a regional in its current form, but it is a good base to go off of because it is very, it can be a very aggressive, very annoying deck depending on what the format is. But if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, let us know what you guys think of the deck and any other decks you would like to see us work on in the future. Um, we will be having a Patreon hopefully coming out in the next few months that will kind of help newer players, uh, and maybe even some older players um, just, you know, Kind of get a grasp on what's going on in the current meta what cards you guys you guys should be looking at to, to put in your sideboards what what other tech cards you guys should be using what cards you should be watching out for uh, just like some play-by-play -play or turn-by-turn -turn, um, tips to kind of help you uh, in certain matches so look out for that hopefully in the next few months so what this leader does is leader is very basic it swings at a leader you draw one doesn't doesn't gain anything when you swing at a battle card so this card should always on your unawakened side swing at a leader at 4 life, you can awaken, you untap 2, don't draw, and you flip. Uh, on this side, it has two autos that can be used once per turn. First one is uh, when you swing, this card gains 5k, and you draw. Doesn't matter what you're swinging at, you just draw. Uh, the second effect is when this card KOs a battle card, you can restand. So, uh, basically, twice per turn, you can attack for 20k. Uh, you want to always swing for a battle card first if you can. That way, you get the get the 5k, you draw, hopefully you can KO the card, and restand, and then swing again maybe for another battle card. Or for their leader uh, and then it gives you some extra time to, to swing and do other things um, maybe a rival whatever anything you run in this deck so um, we run a blue green package with this deck and uh, we'll grab all the one drops out here so we run three of the newfound power sun goku gohan sorry uh, we run three of the sun gohan calling for help and we run four of the krillin calling for help so with these cards here, uh, I want to see hopefully one of each of these in my turn, in my first turn. Um, this is your self awakening. You swing, take a card from your life, gains 10k in crit, have pressure. This is your searcher. Search is top five for a blue or green Sun Goku or Piccolo. Add them to your hand, shuffle, and this card allows you to draw. And then if you're awoken, this card gains blocker and becomes a 4k. All these cards have some. Uh, interesting uses later on in the game. Uh, so the first is the uh, package of energy. We run the Android 17 or check lands or the green and blue package just the way we, we have both colors open at any time during the game. And also, so this card can also be used to help push game if you play it uh, out as a battle card. Uh, your opponent goes into their combo phase. You can remove one of their battle cards or one of the cards that they're using the combo with from their whatever area and put at the bottom of their deck kind of um, negating part of their combo phase hopefully go for game next is the uh, the revive package i kind of took a, a good portion of this idea from the kaioken build and uh added some of the awesome revive cards uh so we have dr euro this came out of the expansion box came out of uh, a few months ago you have sun goku spirit of the planet and then you have super saiyan sun goku another chance so there was, there, there's another one, it's a Kaioken, uh, that's, uh, it's a 15k negate thing that you can use. It's okay, it kind of takes a deck space. Um, these two cards are awesome, this is more of your defensive uh, deck, uh, this is more of your, def your defensive board removal. This is when you're trying to push aggro, go for game, make them uh, waste some resources, and then this is your revive bait. So how this deck really works is you want to play this card generally, hopefully turn two, turn three, swing with it. Um, you have this in your hand, obviously. You want them to waste resources on killing this card. Um, every turn, you want to swing at this card and just try to go as hard as possible. Um, there's two or three, two or three turns in a row where I will use it to activate uh, battle, uh, which is one blue, one green. This card gains 10k and triple strike, and just, just swing, just swing for 25. I'm sorry, 30, not 30, 25. Yeah, 25. Um, I will basically just pay it, just swing for 25, and just hope that they try to kill this card. Um, whether they use a negate, whether they use just super combos, something to just waste resources on this card. If they kill this card, or this one, uh, for that matter, turn these cards kind of revive, you can pay the revive cost, which is one blue, one green, or 
multicolor. So you can actually pay this card, send this card to the drop, uh, which then this card, brings it back out from the drop, and then because this card was a was a, this card is by the vital deck, you can actually play this card back out on the field for no cost, and it's blocked. So you can actually expand your board this way, especially like let's say you have this card out, uh, it's killed. You revive, bring this card back, and play with it. What's your next turn? They kill both of these cards. Let's say you have at least another one of these out. You can save one of these cards and play this out of hand. Replace this, or replace that, or if you have two of them in your hand, it's a pretty nasty. That's why I run four, um, because you want to do this card. Um, you can't really play card energy, because it would be very useful. Now obviously playing this, uh, any type of red, flashing deck that runs, yeah, it's really easy to do that. What's another card? They're making me waste a lot of these ones. I don't know if you're choosing where you want to run. Once you run out of these cards, it's kind of hard to get back. Uh, I didn't really talk about the, uh, another uh, thing. This card's played. Uh, you can choose as many battle cards as your opponent has. Uh, with energy cost of 5 or less, and add up your energy cost. Once it hits 5k, uh, you can kill those battle cards. So if they have a 4 drop or a 1 drop, you can kill them on the other you know, barrier. You can pick 5 1 drops, you can pick 2 2 drops, and one, 1 1 drop. Whatever combination adds up to 5, you can KO them. And it's a 20k blocker. The next part of the deck, um, we'll just go right into the super combos. Uh, we have uh, the Fan Man Blast, Yamcha, and two of the Indigo Teams. We run this, uh, we're going back to the Drama Lap, and this is Slash. Well, we're going to get to a way to put the Indigo And in this case, the Lap is just a little destruction. Um, and we're you know, basically going to be able to hide the top of the deck, which is okay. That's the other card. Uh, probably one of the best people kind of can find in the game right now. Um, the other one I was going to run was the uh, Napa card. It doesn't feel the same. I don't really get the same effect from it. So, it's something I can test though. Uh, the next cards are very important uh, to kind of the mid game portion of it, which is the Piccolo cards. We have two of the, the heroic uh, rare Piccolos, two special beauty games. Um, this card comes out for free. You have a Goku on the field that is 23 or more that is green. Um, and all the Goku that we run in this deck is a green or multi -time. So, uh, the four drop Goku that I have previously. This one here. When this card comes out in the field, it plays out for free. I can only play one of them out. Um, this card's out in the battle area, it's out for free. This card allows you to tail a card. If you can use the effect, you can tail a card with the barrier and you know, two drops. It's very good for just helping you feel more for some reason too. It's nice that you can tail this card in the back of It's a vibe effect, so you end up with a little bit of reason to get out. Or, Get and lose your hand, you pay it out, basically you sand this card, use its effect again, and now I have another 15 people out throughout on the field and just continue to push. Um, this one here is a little bit different, it has that 20 k crit. You can uh, choose one card, move it from the uh this in your drop area, so it's not really a KO. Then you choose one of the battle cards, KO it, and then drop a card from your hand. So it just gives you a little more hand, hand control, and then both also searchable from the Gohan that we, that we had earlier. Um, so this, this is just, so just a different, different area of the whole instruction. This is a thick roll thing. When they see a lot of these cards, they're not going to know what to do, most likely. Um, so this can be a little bit of a bad set. We run, um, also the other techniques that we run is three of the three that are in the pool pot. This works with the So if this card on the field is killed, Pay it to my spot. Whatever else happens after that, the card is continuing to play for the drop. It allows you to draw one card. Which is very nice. So you can end up drawing a card, you can end up playing out the back of the row, basically gaining a blocker, gaining this card back to the effect, and then drawing the card in the turn. Um, you also can pay this card for energy. Put this card in the drop, you can play a four, four drop or less. Three, but so we can get it. You get out of the field, you can probably get it, but you can't do it. 
think I've used the effect once to play out this particular card from the game or something, but I haven't really used it for that's that. Um, now we start getting into the kind of the, the big part of the deck. So we run uh, three of the final showdown Goku. You run these because you run the Krillins. Eventually, I'll, I think, fix this deck up a little bit to run more of the 4-drop villains and just get the variants of this card. Uh, we're going to 4-drop, uh, you lose some battle air, but you can do it from the opponent, uh, you can go out for free. Uh, it is a 25k double trick, and when this card comes out, you can get a battle card going to area. Uh, any card you can use that kind of destruction, and then you can uh, So you can kill Super Rare, you can kill... This card comes out, you're going to. I would generally just basically just use this card as a. Just, just to get out with free or something. I mean, how can I make swing with it? But uh, the, reason, the main reason why I want to have this card out is so I can evolve it into the finishing spirit box of Goku. We run two of those. This card, still 25k, still double strike. But when you uh, attack this card, you choose three battle cards, three, three, three battle cards from your drop and combo with them. So any three cards. So we can be 10 day combos. Um, obviously we won't get the, uh, the super combo stack from them, but we can be able to get the basic thing that we can The two days we can get these cards kind of take like 55 to 75. The 25 days we can get out of the island and now go Champa, um, uh, if you're playing this game, if you're playing this deck, you're going to go over there. It's kind of curtains. It's, this deck's not really built up. Now, for the, the main reason why I run this one um, is I really wanted to find a way to make this card so into the deck. Um, send it to the future. This is a very cool super deck. I know it's, it's, it's we're maybe why this card's not too popular is because it, 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 it's kind of tied to the real thing. And I say that it's because you need a real thing here to make this kind of six count. Um, for eight energy, by the time you get to that, that, that way you're not going to play this card. Unless you're running with a key for the next engine, which is pretty possible. You can run it with that. But this card, you can get the tournament, and we'll turn it later. This card comes out. Uh, oh, and, and if you have six or more energy between you and your opponent, this card uh, becomes a six drop, and you're gonna have that. Um, so uh, what this card does? It has dual attack and double strike. Uh, no deflect or negate. I mean, no deflect or barrier or anything on it, so it's not super super strong in that regard. But uh, the nice thing with this card is when you swing, uh, your opponent chooses uh, one card from their life. Uh, I get to choose one card from their life and one card in their energy. Click on the bottom of their deck and end order. So basically, you instantly crit them a life. Put them in energy just by swinging. So even if it's even if you're trying to do it because it's a pile, it still goes through. It's, it's which is disgusting. Even if you swing with this, you're still dealing a damage regardless of what happens. And you're taking an energy away. When you can restand and do the same thing again. So in a perfect world, you're swinging technically for six health and two energy. Because a double strike each turn you're dealing with at least one damage, you burn damage two damage from the attack, so that's six, and then you're also critting an energy away. It, it's just, it's disgusting. Um, and I think this, very sure that this deck can work in the local and local areas. Particular local scene will probably work. Uh, regional kind of stuff, I, I don't think you know, just because it doesn't have any sort of it's all off. But it's just a really fun card to play. You play it out, someone sees it, they're going to play it out. Oh, that's great. <laughs> um, so yeah, Sun Goku includes CJ the future. Now for the remaining extra cards, uh, we run two of the versions. It's a negate that we want to understand. Basically, it's a free negate. Um, it's also very good because you can, if you have just a lot of blue energy, you can pay this and then restand a multicolor. That way you have. Opening for other extra cards and other things you wanted to do. You run three sensu beans. Allows you to restand two two energy. You run two shocking death balls. 
uh, negates and KOs a two drop. And the sparking effect's pretty nice as well, because uh, because our leader is green. And then we run the Kamehameha, uh, because this is a Goku leader. It gains uh, 15k in crit, so if you are pushing for game, you can end up using that card. Um, yeah, that is my stopping power Goku deck. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, I will leave a deck profile uh, listing below, so you guys can check that out. If you guys want to check out the, the deck for yourself, maybe mod it. Uh, send me any recommendations that you would think would work better in this deck. Um, and yeah, would love to hear what you guys have to, have to say about this deck. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.